Hey guys, this is Bob and I just want to talk to you a minute about web hosting and give you a little bit of my experience and uh, what I've learned from some of the hosts I've tried out. Um, first off, I started with DreamHost when I first started this blog back in 2007 um, and they were fine for me to start. Um, I knew a whole bunch of people using them and so I decided you know, if everybody else is using them, I'll give it a try. And I really didn't have a problem with them. They weren't bad. Um, but the, the one thing that really frustrated me was that I couldn't call them when I had a problem. When my site went down, I couldn't call them. I had to email them and, or put in a support ticket, and I never knew when I was going to hear back. I never knew when my site was going to be back up, um, you know, and you know, they would respond a couple hours later, you know, on a good day. And, you know, that became a little bit too, uh, I, I just couldn't deal with that anymore once, you know, I started getting to the point where I was really depending on the income from this website. So about the time I, um, you know, was, was going at this full time, I moved to Media Temple, which they are a much uh, more expensive hosting company, and they offer better service. Um, you can call them. You know, and it, the hosting itself is, it, the hosting packages are better, a bit more elaborate. Um, and you can call them if you have a problem. Um, so, so that was nice. That was a great uh, extra benefit for me that I could call these guys when I was having an issue. Um, the, the downside is I feel like they've taken a turn for the worse over the last couple of years. Because when I first started with them, I could call them up and I, I felt like I always had somebody on the line within just a few minutes, maybe five, ten minutes max. And my last probably four or five calls to them have taken 45 minutes to an hour before someone would get on the line to help me. And, um, you know, and that's just not real good when when your site might be down or it's, you know, acting crazy and you don't really know why and you don't know who to call for help. Um, so for me, that that was really, and it still is a, a big frustration I have with them. Um, I'm still currently hosting Christian PF with Media Temple, um, but mostly because I haven't, I just haven't gotten around to move move them out. It, it becomes a little bit of a bigger deal to switch hosts as, uh, as things get larger. And um, and so shortly after I moved over to Media Temple, uh, I found out about Bluehost, which is another hosting company that's on the lower end. They offer hosting, I believe, for about seven bucks a month. And um, and I when I found it, I, I thought this was a steal. It was great because they are about the same price as DreamHost, um, offer about the same level of uh, hosting package, but they have phone support. So you can call them up and ask them questions, and, um, and all my interactions with their uh, customer service were good. Um, they were pretty helpful. Um, so I, I really liked them, and I was, I was really recommending Bluehost to a lot of people for a while, um, and I still do. And I, I think they're a great host, and, you know, um, and I still have a lot of websites over at Bluehost, um, and, I, and, and I do like them. The only downside with them is uh, they're not real scalable, so they only really have one size of hosting package. And, you know, so it's great to start, and you're fine, and even when you're a me medium-sized blogger, you're fine, but once you become bigger and you're getting a whole lot more traffic, um, I personally probably wouldn't feel comfortable having my hosting with Bluehost at that point. Um, okay, and that leads me to HostGator, um, which I'm really liking them a lot, and they're currently the one that I am recommending the most, and the reason being is they're one of the cheaper hosts out there, and at the same time, I think they offer better service than Media Temple. So for about, you know, as cheap as four bucks a month, you can be hosting with them and getting better service than you are at Media Temple. Um, by the way, I'm paying $200 a month to be hosted with Media Temple for my hosting package right now. And, and, and the thing that the kicker for me was that I, I had a day where I called Media Temple and waited 45 minutes on, on hold to get somebody. And then a day later, I called HostGator, and within 30 seconds, someone answered the phone to help me. You know, so there's a little bit of an issue there <laughs> that I'm paying $200 here and waiting 45 minutes for somebody to answer and then $4 a month at the other place and, you know, you're getting somebody to answer within less than a minute. Um, and, and honestly, I've dealt with HostGator and their customer service team via chat and on the phone 
probably close to 10 times now and every single time has been a good experience so that on top of the fact that they're so cheap and, and beginners can go in there and they're one of the cheapest things is just a great great selling feature and then the other thing that separates them from Bluehost in my opinion is that they're scalable so you can go in there as a beginner start out and then as your website and blog grows and you get more traffic you can increase your hosting package and just they can grow your site can grow along with it so they're the ones that I am telling all my friends and family to go to they're the ones that I'm recommending you know when I get emails from readers um, they're the ones that ultimately I will be moving all of my sites over to um, once I get around to that um, so anyway there you have it you know there's a million hosts out there um, but these are the four that I've dealt with and I have experience with and um, those are just my thoughts on it and I hope that provides you just a little bit of insight um, you know it helps you make a better decision ba uh, for where you are and what your ambition is um, with your blog um, so that's all for now and I'll talk to you later Okay, one last thing. I called HostGator and let them know that they're my recommended host now, and I wanted to see if there's any way I could get an extra discount for you guys, and they said yes. And so they gave me this coupon code that you can go in there if you decide to use them as your host, and it will knock an extra 25% off. Um, I think it's the first hosting package that you buy. Um, so anyway, if you go through that, all you need to do is enter Christian PF as a promo code, and you'll save 25%. So that's all I have for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a wonderful day.